Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Mac and uh, Ricky. We are here to talk a bit about the Singularity CSGO team and how everything is turning out and how we're turning up or not. But, um, but yeah guys, we're here in uh, Berlin. We just came from yeah, Dallas last week uh, to play the MDL finals. Now we're here at the minor. Lots of Counter-Strike. Lots of plenty of play fucking Counter-Strike, man. Counter Strike pretty much the last month and a half. Uh, pretty much ever since the start of like the latter half of the season, MDL season, and then like the minor roll down. We out here grinding. And then we had to fly out. We to, had to fly out to the Global Challenge, and then we had to fly out to Berlin, and then we're gonna get home. Then we have EPL relegation right away, and then a week after that we are going to the New Street Gamers Chicago Land, right? Yes, sir. Uh, so August 9th to the 11th. Uh, Gotta represent local. <laughs> of course. It's gonna be a lot of counter strikes. So. Yeah, I actually don't know if uh, the people watching here that uh, you guys are actually all living together in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You moved yeah. into uh, Ryan's granddad's house and made no, it's a, a game house. It's our studio. Our studio. Premium yeah. studio. Premium studio. A little gamer house. Yep. Looking forward to develop that. More on that on, on another interview, I think. <laughs> Maybe three months from now. <laughs> um, nah, so, um, but yeah, guys, um, let's start with uh, Dallas. So, um, Dallas. How, did you, how did you see, uh, how did you see uh, the MDL final and the Global Challenge? Um, Riggy, it was the first time you were there together with us, at least. Yeah. Um, how did you experience the event? Well, we played Furia. I mean, we've literally played Brazil over and over <laughs> and over. Like I feel like every single tournament we play is just versus Brazil. It's Furia, LG, MIBR, and ECS, and then Sharks here in Berlin. It's just it's incredible. Team one, you got it. Yeah, Team one as well. Yeah, and so much Brazilian competition. And uh, I think Global Challenge. I think you definitely learn a lot from it. Uh, Considering, you know, we didn't really do too good for Syria. We beat Party Knots, but yeah, that's kind of expected. expected. That's kind of expected. No offense uh, to those guys uh, watching. Yeah. Yeah, and then two times against Team Spirit. The, yeah. uh, the top puckers from the ES, uh, UCLA, uh, MDL in Europe, yeah. uh, at least this season. Um, that team is really rough. We, we expected. Maybe a closer game. We, we kind of expected that it win. To be to be fair, I don't even remember it. Yeah, to be honest, we played so much CS. They just I don't know. They were a lot better than we thought. But going back to the Fury game, it was pretty rough because no offense to them, they're, like they're an incredible team, but it, it didn't feel like they beat us necessarily. And that that partly is because Gary is standing in the Yeah, it's because like we did so much homework on Fury, and then we realized. We were told at the land that Able Jail was in there, so it's just like screwed up everything. Because we wanted to like anti strat them because I mean, they're a good team and they know like what they're doing, and we can like play based off how, based off of how they're playing. And because Able J wasn't there, it's just like he was the inner player on train, and then it was like Yuri, and then it was Caserato, and then it was Vinny another round, and we couldn't like predict them at all because it was just completely like different CS based off of what we were watching for the past like two weeks mm -hmm. after we made the finals. Just ridiculous. Yeah, let's talk about a little bit about that. Like doing your homework on the teams and then yeah. like getting screwed over. So, uh, Mike, how does it work when uh, we prep for, for different teams? Like, and is there a difference between prepping for NA teams and EU teams? Uh, there's usually not that much of a difference. Well, I'll usually just watch the demos together. Uh, like about a few hours before practice every single day, we'll watch a demo on a team and then we'll do server time and talk about either how we can incorporate what we just watched into our demos or like what to expect from the other team. So when we were watching Fury, we were watching a lot of demos together as a team and then in the following hour we'd sit in the server basically just talking about how we can like counter it and how, how we can like play well versus it. So yeah. When we each other expect. Yeah, when, when we're prepping, it's um, it's usually not that long of prep, but we we really wanted to be perfect versus Furia. It's usually like a maybe two three day prep, but we 
we were like really going about trivia series, trying to like have no excuses or anything. Well, then it feels tough to lose. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> shitty. That one is so shitty. Yeah. Especially like, considering the work lost it. Yeah. Nah, but the. Um, you win some, you lose some. No, losing is part of winning, right? Exactly. It's a learning curve. Just don't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> and if you do so, you get sp- <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, coming here um, to Europe, um, to Berlin, going into the minor. Um, what did, how did you feel the minor played out? A lot of offsets were made, I think, in the yeah, first the first, round. Yeah, the first day. I think it's just because the first day was bo ones I think bo ones there's a lot of upset potential for the BO3s, especially online. Uh, yeah. I think on the minor, we, we honestly like expected to um, you know, at least make the third place plan. When we played Sharks, you know, we were up 1-0. Like, we, we figured the first day was like more of a fluke than anything because they kind of abused just one strat over and over and we talked about it as a team and then we figured out how to stop it and once we actually played them again, we were able to completely like shut it down, which was like the vent drop that they kept doing versus us. Um, so Nuke Nuke was pretty easy, but when we got to Vertigo and Train, it was like we just did not expect them to know anything on Vertigo. We didn't expect them to know what they were doing or anything. So they really surprised us for, for Vertigo. And on Train, um, we just sucked. It was really rough. <laughs> because if we got maybe two it was or a tough start. Yeah. If we got like two or three more CT rounds instead of four, nice little we, we probably would have Down one to eleven on the CT side train on land. You don't like to see that one. Oh. Well, that the deciding match. Yeah, the deciding match, third match. <laughs> on CT side on train. Cool. And we got <laughs> Ninja the Fuse, which is just rough. I think that happened on Nick versus Fury, right? That's one. Or no, no, it's party notes. Right? No, it was team one because Barton defused and I spammed the smoke. And okay. I killed him after he defused. That was an intense series as well. <laughs> yeah, no, team one. Team. No, they played pretty good. Yeah, it was really nice. That style that I had. It gave us like 15 yeah, we minutes also, between we also the two watched matches. Yeah, we also did too. A lot. The winner. Yeah. Nah, but then... Uh, that brings me to uh, what do you think about the production here in uh, Berlin and for... I think it's sick. Uh, yeah, I think they put a lot of work in. Uh, just like everything, especially like going to the back, seeing all like the screens and people working, that, that's just insane. Yeah, you don't expect like 50 people yeah, to be no. like behind the curtain basically, like yeah. literally. I can understand the amount of delays, there's just so many people working, like just conflict. I mean like, aside from WSG, we, we haven't really gone to any like top tier lands. And even WSG wasn't, it, it was produced, but it wasn't that amazingly produced. So. It's just incredible seeing like how much work they actually put into the major and for every single team, even if they don't qualify, like every single team got interviewed because I know that me and uh, Shakespeare got interviewed and I know that from United Food and AQZ got interviewed. So, you know, they just put in so much work and it's just like so well ran because they have time slots for each team and just it's, it's all on like a perfect schedule. Yeah, all the editing they did for us, mm-hmm. of us like walking around and stuff like that, mm-hmm. pictures, yeah. makeup. And make got my makeup done. That was a first. Yeah, we got some nice content coming <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, behind the camera right here, even though it's actually a cola cam, you can see it. That's holding up the camera. Then we also have our camera guy over here. Anas <laughs> Inkjules. He's the one making all the sick CSGO edits and movies coming out. And uh, yeah, so much good, good stuff is coming out. And hopefully we're going to a lot more. Lab events. Oh yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll finally lift the trophy for once. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think our biggest problem as a team right now is just experience and like nerves because people on our team will say they don't get nervous, but I don't get nervous. You're <laughs> you're the only person on the team who doesn't get nervous. It's blatantly obvious. But and I'm not trying to sh- throw shots at anyone of my teammates, but it's it's really just an experience thing. And like when I'm watching it, it kind of like tells when nerves are affecting us and like we'll just play differently or like we won't it's something we won't play as a team it'll just be like everyone's panicking almost and then we just like fall yeah apart i also think we, this land will help fix that yeah i think so we'll too. play other tournaments and we won't get nervous yeah just like we play the minor i mean we're, we're literally the youngest team in the top 50 cam youngsters in the, the top of the I'm, ex- I'm actually not sure Number 76 but we'll i'm looking forward to seeing maybe we go top 30 
on Monday. Mm -hmm. We're 36 right now. Um, yeah, the minor. We win relegation. Yeah, if we win yeah, relegation we next yeah, week, then, the, then it's uh, then it's a uh, top 30. 30. Sure that and then it's pro league, league as well. <laughs> With um, so two chances. Yeah. Two relegation chances. and relegation. So guys, uh, recently we uh, added Limpone to our team um, as a CSGO analyst. Um, tell me a bit about that and uh, how you see his role in the team and supporting you especially. Well, he helps a lot with the prep. Um, he gets most of the prep done for every match. He also, what's it called? He reviews most of our demos and he'll uh, give us good analysis on what we can fix and stuff like that, just for matches. But usually, it's always good to have a yeah. sixth guy. Yeah, or, sorry, the seventh <laughs> guy. Thanks. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> seventh guy to be like giving us different ideas. Uh, that we're like, yeah, just just another brand to give us. Especially from Europe, not NA. Yeah, because it's just it's just fresh. And it helps a lot with every single match, and he really helped us for the um, Furia um, early finals. Right? Yeah, and then same with uh, what's called the minor. He helped us. Really good analyst. Yeah, very good analyst. Um, gets everything done that I asked him for on time before. And you know, it's helped a lot, clearly, because like when we picked them up, we were like 50th or 50th, and you know, clearly it's helping. Right? We've gotten better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, uh, it's good to hear. Um, I think he's bringing a lot of, uh, as well, at, at least in, in the structure we have set up for you guys. So, um, so yeah, tell me a bit about the future. Now, all focus is of course on Pro League. Uh, relegation. Good old relegations. Uh, time to claim our spot among the top teams uh, um, in the top league. And then um, after uh, after Chicago Land, um, the NSG Land, then um, is there any other like upcoming land or events this year that you yeah. already have planned out? So Fragadelphia in California, mm -hmm. Frag Fragafornia. Fragafornia? Yeah, that's in September. That's uh, that, uh, that's the way you're gonna yeah. meme it? Yeah, Fragafornia. Fragafornia. Got that from Dylan, Rico. You tweeted that one. East Coast servers are so nice. And everybody's just living on the East Coast. Yeah, I'm not really sure where they uh, changed that, but... Yeah, that's kinda wacky. It is what it is. Well, maybe they see more money in it, but they're not gonna get more money from it. Yeah, and I'm of course kidding. It's West Coast, but everybody is on the East Coast server, yeah. so for those who didn't get it, that's the reason why. But yeah, preparations, I'm pretty sure after the NSG win in Chicago, we're probably gonna take like about a week break because we've been grinding so much and we just, we mentally need a break. And then after that, we'll have about like two, three weeks to, you know, Grind out for Fra Fragafornia. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see yeah, that goes. Yeah, guess well, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All, all focus right now is on relegation. Yeah. It's almost kind of a blessing in disguise that we didn't get the minor plan, which, I mean, obviously would have been great, but we would have had to stay in Berlin for about three yeah. or four extra days. Yeah. And we would have missed the first pro league relegation because they, they, there's no way they would have moved it. Uh, it uh, it's a bit of a uh, scheduling conflict. Mm -hmm. So, um, so now we established that uh, 100 thieves are not gonna pick up an, an NA stack and get their get a, get an invite in. So uh, do you think there will be an extra spot in the, in the relegation? So it's five teams with three, like there has three to be. chances. Yeah, I think so. like literally has to be. Yeah. It's just who gets the spot, yeah. like the who or who fights for it besides so us. Yeah, that's a question. It's gonna be uh, gonna be intense. Looking forward to see some online action. Yes, sir. I think it's the first time ever, right? That online relegation is online. online. Yep. The it's star coming. time shine. We'll prove something. Which, according to HLP, is probably better for us because we're <laughs> not miners. Yeah. Nah, but um, but yeah, guys. Um, uh, I think I'll thank you for your time. Uh, I thank know you, we bro. have a lot of other yes, things bro. in the schedule. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to take this talk in, let's say, three months from now again. I think a lot of things will have happened there. Oh. Um, but yeah, um, thank you all for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Ricky, Camry, very known as Floppy. And we have Jared Todd Snyder here. Mac Lovin. Mac Lovin.
Everybody knows it. Thank you for uh, giving him a new name. Mag One was too old. Everybody knew. Yeah, I love it, guys. Thank you. See ya.